fighter aircraft are a vital component of any air force and examples such as the F-35 Lightning and F-22 Raptor demonstrate their vast superiority. Here are the top 10 best fighter aircraft in the world, based on aircraft specifications, technology, armament fit and performance. Boeing's EA-18G Growler, spended $74.8 million. EA-18G Growler represents the new electronic attack aircraft technology and its next-gen jammer. Development from the Super Hornet ensured that the EA-18G was readily suited to carrier operations, its core role. Bring back is a term related to the store's load that an aircraft is able to carry and still safely recover to the carrier's flight deck. The Growler's only releasable stores are its weapons or drop tanks, the former being its kinetic weapons, the AGM-88 High-Speed Anti-Radiation Missile, AGM-88E Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile and AIM-120 Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. During carrier suitability trials, VX-23 undertook gross weight expansion testing to increase the Growler's bring-back capability to 48,000 pounds including fuel. Catapult shots had to ensure tow bar, nose bar, gear and hook point loads were within the required limits for launching the aircraft. As well as its built-in systems, the Growler team took a risk reduction approach when it came to the electronic attack mission. The EA-18G carried over the Prowler-era ALQ-99 tactical jamming pods. Continual upgrades enabled these to remain relevant against potential threats, but were taken on as an interim capability for the Growler. F-14 Tomcat spent $63.9 million. The F-14 was a very capable plane. In fact, it was able to be used for a role it was not intended for when national security called for it. The F-14 Tomcat was designed to defend the U.S. Navy's fleets from practically every airborne threat. While it packed long-range AIM-54 Phoenix missiles for defense against bombers carrying standoff missiles, it was no slouch in a dogfight either although early versions were held back by its TF-30 engines in that arena. But for a brief period in the 1990s, the F-14 was used as a strike aircraft. The Navy's retirement of the A-6 intruders left a small capability gap until the new F-A-18 Super Hornets entered service, and the F-14 could carry more bombs than the new F-A-18 Hornet. For the F-14, some small subsystems were installed, and the aircraft was sent on its way. While the F-14 was only used operationally in the strike role by America in the 1990s, the aircraft was designed for it to a limited degree. Grumman showed the prototype carrying bombs, and flight tests were carried out with a rack of 14 Mark 82 bombs. The F-14D, built with digital computers, expanded on this functionality, integrating more weapons onto the F-14. The F-14D was granted clearance by the Navy to drop bombs in 1992. However, it was the F-14B that would serve as the primary F-14 for ground attack. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, F-14A equipped with the LANTIRN and PTIDS were some of the first aircraft in theater. They covered and designated targets for Air Force F-15E on Iraqi command and control bunkers. The Navy pilots later trained the F-15E crews to conduct the forward air controller mission. F-A-18 Super Hornet Spended $79.8 million for its technology equipment. FA-18 Super Hornet is a combat-proven strike fighter offering next-generation multi-role strike fighter capabilities. It is a larger and improved redesign of the FA-18 Hornet. The Super Hornet is in service with the US Navy and the Royal Australian Air Force. 
The U.S. Navy inducted the aircraft into service in 1999 for replacing its Grumman F-14 Tomcat. The F-A-18F Super Hornet entered service with the RAAF in 2010. Combat capabilities of the fighter jet were proved during Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Southern Watch and War in Afghanistan. The Super Hornet's suite of integrated and networked systems provides enhanced interoperability and total force support for the combatant commander and for troops on the ground. The 11 weapon stations on the aircraft can hold a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance, as well as a variety of smart weapons, including laser-guided bombs. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II spended $122.8 million. F-35 Lightning II is the only international fifth-generation multirole fighter plane in the world. The extreme agility and stealth features, along with an integrated sensor package and modern weaponry, provide the F-35 with a tactical edge over all other fighter aircraft. The single-seat fighter is armed with a range of weapon systems such as Sidewinder and Storm Shadow, as well as joint direct attack munitions. Lockheed Martin is the prime contractor of the F-35 while its major partners include Northrop Grumman, Bay Systems and Pratt & Whitney. The F-35 completed its maiden flight in December 2006. The three F-35 variants, including the conventional takeoff and landing, short takeoff or vertical landing and carrier variant, will replace the A-10 and F-16 of the U.S. Air Force, the F-A-18 of the U.S. Navy, the F-A-18 and AV-8B Harrier of the U.S. Marine Corps and various fighters of other allied nations. Last, the most expensive fighter jet in this planet, F-22 Raptor 152 millions. The F-22 Raptor is considered to be one of the most highly advanced fighter jets. It is built by Lockheed Martin and Boeing for around $350 million per aircraft. The aircraft was unveiled in 1997, but gained full operational capability by the USAF in 2005. It is fitted with fifth-generation technology and combines supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. It is 62 feet long, 16.7 feet high, and 44.5 feet wide. The aircraft has a weight of 43,340 pounds and an MTOW of 83,500 lb. The F-22 has a 2,960 km range and a 62,000 km per minute rate of climb. F-22's all-aspect stealth capability makes detection difficult for enemy aircraft. The jet's Northrop Grumman's and APG-77 active electronically scanned array radar technology and engineered airframe reduces the aircraft's visibility. It decreases enemy radar recognition using agile frequency beams. Pratt & Whitney F-119-100 engines allow the F-22 to reach supercruise speeds of Mach 1.82 when carrying a full load of weapons and without using an afterburner. The F-22 Raptor is no longer being produced due to high production costs and maintenance difficulties. There are also concerns surrounding outdated 1980s airframe designs and the availability of the cheaper and more adaptable F-35 fighter jet. However, in 2017, the USAF highlighted its plans to fly the F-22 until 2060. That budget cuts and F-35 upgrades will challenge the future progress of the F-22 in terms of technology. However, it indicated that the Raptor is still that most capable air superiority fighter flying today.